So let's say you've lost your keys one day, but you still have your toolbox and you need to get home. I'm going to show you how to hotwire this car so you can start it and drive it home. So to start this car, I need to get inside of this ignition cylinder, which is inside of these covers here. Now, since the steering wheel is locked and I don't have a key to unlock the steering wheel, I'm going to need to remove the steering wheel itself in order to get these covers off. So I'm going to start by removing the airbag. There's two torque screws on either side of the steering wheel that you can loosen up. Now I can remove the steering wheel airbag and then disconnect this connector. Now I need to remove this 19 millimeter nut over here that holds the steering wheel on. And you're going to mark the position of the steering wheel so you can put it on back straight. And you might need a puller to pull the steering wheel off. Sometimes they can just pry off with enough force. There we go. Now I can proceed to removing those two hidden screws that were behind the steering wheel. And now I can remove the cover from the bottom and from the top. So with the cover removed, this is your ignition lock right here, and the switch for it is just behind here. All right, so I'm just gonna remove some of the wiring so you have better access. This here is the wiring for the ignition lock. You can see these really fat wires that go to it. And this little one here is for the key reminder. All right, so if we have a closer look at the ignition switch over here, this is the connector where it was connected in. The way it screws on is just two Phillips screws, one up here, and then one at the back here that need to be removed and then the switch can come off of the ignition cylinder. All right, so I'm just unscrewing that bottom screw. All right, so here's a better look at that bottom screw from the other side and now I'm just removing the top screw for the ignition switch and now I can remove the ignition switch it just pulls right off of the cylinder all right so this is essentially the ignition switch you can turn it with a screwdriver all right so if I take my ignition switch and I plug it into the harness here all I need is a slotted screwdriver and I can start the car and I can turn it off just like a regular key now the only problem with rigging the ignition switch alone is that the steering wheel is still locked and I won't be able to move it all right, to get a better view of what's going on, I'm going to remove the instrument cluster panel. So this here is the bracket that holds the ignition cylinder with the steering lock assembly to the steering column. It's got these two security screws on it right here that we need to remove. So in order to tackle these two screws, I'm just going to use a punch and a hammer. And I'm going to break it free. So I was able to turn them about a quarter turn and that got it a little bit free. Now I'm able to unscrew those screws by hand. And that's what the security screw looks like. Now you might be able to use a bolt extractor to remove this once it's broken free. And there's a second screw and then I can remove this bracket and the ignition switch will just drop out of the way. So this is the ignition switch. I didn't have to use any key to get this out and this here is the steering lock. So now the steering wheel is completely unlocked and I can start the vehicle using a screwdriver. And I'm able to turn the steering wheel freely can shut it off. And that's how simple it is to start your car with a screwdriver. Now remember kids, only try this on your parents car at home because real thieves don't even bother stealing Corollas.